Hi everybody, this is Eve Hallow's assistant from the Dead and Breakfast. And as you might guess, Eve is not much of a morning person. So I run the Dead and Breakfast during the sunlight hours and she takes over in the evening. Well, this video, we're going to show you how uh, we are going to make a faux fireplace uh, for our Halloween props in 2019. Now we spent a lot of time looking through YouTube and Pinterest and we got a lot of great ideas, but they didn't quite fit exactly what we wanted. Um, some of the criteria for props for the Dead and Breakfast is number one, they have to be light. They have to be easy to pick up and easy to put up. And number two, they have to be foldable because we don't have a lot of room to store props here at the Dead and Breakfast. So, um, that leaves out, uh, you know, making things that are more permanent, like uh, fireplaces out of, out of um, wood or um, even um, paper mache um, cardboard. You know, it needs to be foldable. So, this project we're going to be using Coreplast. And core plast is a white plastic, or it could be any color plastic really, but I have white. Plastic that's like cardboard, and real estate uh, owners and uh, a lot of the uh, garage sale signs are made out of core plast. Uh, they have those channels where you can put the metal stakes, and they're very uh, handy. Uh, they're, they're impervious pretty much to outside uh, elements and stuff. And it's actually what I used to make columns for the graveyard. Uh, and I didn't uh, share a video with that, but I'll be doing a video later showing you how I made columns. So I ordered um, a box of 10 core plast sheets. The size is uh, 4 foot by 8 foot. And I have two pieces left over and that's what I'm going to use that in combination with cardboard to make a fireplace now I decided you know we talked about it even I talked about it and uh, we we didn't want something that was just Halloween uh, we made one before and it had uh, bats and and skeletons and it was made out of cardboard and I used um, the paper mache used the flour and the water. I would not personally use flour and water again. It, it was it was it molded and it was nasty. Um, I, I in the in the after I did that project, uh, whenever I do um, paper mache now, I just dilute the glue, regular Elmer's glue, and do it that way. But. Um, I wanted this fireplace to be something that you know we could use all year if we wanted if we decided to leave it up all year and so um, we're gonna do kind of a Victorian style fireplace haven't quite decided yet what it's gonna look like but um, we're still in the process one um, little hitch though you know you think it's well it shouldn't be that hard to make a a faux fireplace it's just you know a rectangular and it's four sides but in this case, it's a little bit tricky because I'm using it to hide a piece of furniture that I have. Uh, I don't want to have a bunch of furniture all over and I don't want to have to move furniture. So I want to put uh, my grandmother's old um, treadle sewing machine. I want to hide it. It's going to be part of the prop. And I'll show you a picture uh, of her... Um, sewing machine a little bit later so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, uh, we hope you enjoy this video and you enjoy the process of making this fireplace along with us. Thanks for watching. And by the way, uh, any links you, you may see, most of them are, are affiliate links uh, for the um, products that we bought or used uh, in the making of these projects. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I ordered this special glue gun 
and high temperature glue specifically for hot gluing chlor uh, chloroplast. Um, it's worked really great so far on my columns. They, they're outside uh, and they've lasted a long time. So I'll provide a link in the description where you can get this um, heat gun. As I said, it's very hot and this glue is a special glue and it's grooved. Uh, but it's, it's worked great and I recommend it. So there'll be a link in the description where you can purchase it off of Amazon. This is um, our grandmother's um, old sewing machine. It's got a treadle on it. You can't see it because I've already started kind of working on the prop. I created a, a base out of um, cardboard and have it, you know, slid uh, o over it. And I'll be creating a box inside. You'll see where the firebox is going to be. So we'll be sharing more of the process later on in the video. Okay, so I'm going to start, uh, I've already done the base, um, but I'm going to start this part of the video uh, working on the firebox. So, I want to create some sort of a box for this part opening to fit in, to be able to just slide in. And you'll hopefully see what i am got in mind. So, what I did is I measured between... Here, this metal part and this metal part and I also measured a depth of about 11 inches from this part to here this is where the front of the fireplace is going to sit but you'll notice that it's, it's a little tricky here because of the treadle wheel it's not an even distance all the way across the shortest distance between here and here is 15 inches and then it comes out and then it kind of goes back in and goes around. So I'm going to do this in pieces and hopefully create a piece with my coroplast that comes, it comes here then I can have it bend and go out, come out, come out again and have it uh, work out. Uh, we're, we're try it. We're, we're going to see. I've never done this before. so. Um, but in this first part, I've created the, the, the base, which is about 15 inches wide by um, 12 or 13 inches long. I'm going to leave a little extra over so I can bend the flap. And then that way there's a, there'll be a flap that will sit flush against the front of the fireplace there. Okay, so I hot glued uh, this base and then I had made these um, sides, hot glued them. And this is going to slide in here and stop about there. So that's Kind of the base for the um, firebox. Now I've got to work on the sides. Okay, so I took a scrap piece of the corrugated cardboard and I haven't glued it or anything. I just measured it about 15 inches from here to here. And you'll notice with the corrugated cardboard, you can cut it, not all the way through, and create flaps. And I sort of screwed up at the very beginning because I cut it on the wrong side. But this is going to be the back. And that lip here, I'm going to have it glued to this piece of black 
I have a long scrap piece of black coroplast. I think I spent like $5 for this piece at, at uh, Michael's. Anyway, this is the piece I'm gonna attempt to cut into the channels like this to kind of go around this wheel, to have it bend in one piece. So we'll see. Okay, so I wanted to show you the progress of the firebox. I got the base finished and the three sides. Uh, as you can see, it is not the most perfect or pretty thing. <laughs> uh, it's not even here uh, or here, and there's glue all over. I will say I had a really difficult time getting this piece glued because it's bent in so many places. I have to bend it so that it'll go around this wheel here. Uh, but overall, I'm fairly pleased it fits. Uh, it doesn't matter that this is a little higher. I'm not putting a, a top on it. I don't need to uh, because it's going to sit underneath the sewing machine. Um, you will notice that I scored the back here. This is about an inch. Uh, and so I could hot glue this to the back and give it a little bit more stability. And I went ahead and scored, this is actually bigger than two inches, but I originally measured two inches so that this can fold and these flaps here will sit flush uh, with the face of the fireplace. I cut them a little bit differently. I cut this one I scored it on this side and this one I scored on the back. I actually like this one better. It's easier to uh, fold back and should probably sit uh, more flush, uh, easier than, than this one. And now I'm in the process of um, cutting uh, bricks, brick-shaped uh, items from um, cardboard, and they're going to fit in... Um, in the piece like this and I'm going to continue to go all the way up the back and the sides all the way around um, I haven't decided if I'm going to put brick here because this is not supposed to show uh, but I may go ahead and brick it and then once this is all glued on the the bricks are glued on and everything then I'm going to put a coat of a base coat of gray paint so that will simulate um, the um, the caulk or, or not caulk but you know the the cement between the the bricks the grout the grout between the bricks and then I'll come back through and um, with a sponge brush and regular paint brushes paint the bricks uh, color I, I don't know yet if I'm gonna do sort of a reddish blush uh, with some black accents uh, or not. Uh, I'm just kind of winging it as it is. So I will keep you posted on the progress of the fireplace. So here is the fireplace um, box with uh, cardboard bricks in it. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm fairly pleased with it. Um, I just need to get some paint. Uh, I think I'm going to get um, gray paint for the base and then uh, do the bricks. Okay, I'm at the stage now where I've got uh, the sides and the front and the back cut out for the fireplace. And as you can tell, I've made some um, marks on the front to kind of figure out you know, how I want to decorate uh, this fireplace. And the inspiration is this picture I found off of Pinterest. I'm trying to not exactly duplicate it, but 
uh, make something similar. And as you can see from this picture, you see this um, part here comes out. That's what this section is here. That's what I'm in the process of making. Uh, the black piece is corrugated core plast that I had left over. And then this is a cereal box covered with um, newspaper, uh, regular cardboard here cut, and then I cut cardboard and rolled it uh, so it can be the, um, the rails here. And um, the next step, I'm going to be covering these little cardboard rolls with um, newspaper so that they'll be smoother and um, paint better. Okay, here's the progress that I made on the fireplace. I've actually done quite a bit on it. As you can see, I've um, put um, the panels here on uh, here at the top. I created a lip here, the side piece, some decorative pieces here and on the side. I've got side piece here, top piece, side piece, side piece, center piece, bottom piece, and the same for the other side. I still have to do um, a decorative piece here and um, some decorative pieces here in the um, corners, although I may change my mind. I'm going to make some faux tiles to go in the white section and I need to do some sort of decorative piece here and possibly probably along here and here. Um, this is painted just a plain old black color and this is a metallic black and I need to paint this a metallic black. I went to the craft store with the intent of buying the uh, metallic paint that you paint by hand and I completely forgot it. Um, <laughs> this was um, spray painted. Um, but I didn't, I don't want to spray paint these because I don't want to mess the rest of the fireplace up. Uh, anyway, I'm fairly pleased with the progress. Uh, it's getting there and uh, hopefully uh, within the next couple of days I'll be done with the front of the fireplace. Okay, so today I'm working on tiling the base of the fireplace and as you can see I found a design that I liked I downloaded it uh, from Pinterest saved the uh, image and then um, converted it into an SVG file I've printed it and I'm cutting it and I'm post I'm, I'm pasting it on this poster board now I cut the poster board in the shape of a shell so to speak to kind of cover the base I'm not going to glue this on I'm going to make this to where it um, either velcros or just slips on top so that if I want to make different skins so to speak I can uh, to decorate the base of the fireplace so that's what I'm working on today Okay, so what I'm working on today are some decorative elements that go on the fireplace just underneath the mantel, the, the shelf part. And I cut, I free, uh, drew a, a shape that looks like this. And then I cut a whole bunch of them out of cardboard. And now I'm gluing them together so they'll look like this. 
Um, I have yet to make them look smooth. I don't know if I'm going to do um, black Gorilla Tape. I'm thinking maybe black Gorilla Tape, probably, and then uh, paint them black. So that's the progress of uh, some of the little decorative details on the fireplace. Okay, so what I'm working on now is creating the decorative pieces that are going to go on the fireplace, uh, and I did them out of clay. And a lot of the inspiration pieces that I um, used, uh, they're old Victorian fireplaces, but the the uh, decorative work here, like you see, uh, was actually um, raised uh, in metal. And so what I did is I purchased clay, and then I purchased these molds, and they're actually for fondants, fondant cake making, and I put the clay in there, and these look actually look pretty good um, I have to uh, let them dry for about 24 hours I did one batch last night and it's only been about 12 hours and I just finished this batch and I think I'm gonna buy some more clay and do a, a few more pieces and then uh, I'll paint them and um, affix them to the fireplace So here is the completed faux fireplace project and I will say I am extremely pleased with how the project turned out. Um, as you can see, this is the skin. Um, I had to cut a little bit more here on the sides over here. I didn't quite make it long enough, but that's okay. You can't really tell. Uh, this is what that um, little piece in the front turned out looking like. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, the only thing I would probably do different when I uh, found the tile to go here on the front, I didn't accommodate for this sticking out. So on any future skins that I make, I'll be putting the design further down so that it'll, it'll look right. The firebox turned out fantastic. Very pleased with it. And here, I don't know if you can see, but these are the flaps that I was talking about earlier. And they, they fit up against the front of the fireplace quite nicely. Here's some of the detail work that I made from clay. That turned out great. Very pleased with it have it uh, all along here and the bottom and this is the uh, faux tile found pictures off of Pinterest printed it out pasted it on cereal box and they will pop out so I'll be able to change that out uh, when I want these were the I believe they're Corbells or core. I'm not exactly sure what you call these things. I did um, cover them in black gorilla tape and then painted them. Not completely, totally happy with the way they turned out, but it's okay. This decorative piece here in the middle, just love. It turned out really good. And I bought, I purchased um, LED lights here. And this was the top of the fireplace. I didn't share any videos or pictures of this in progress. I forgot to take pictures, but I went to um, Home Depot and I bought a um, package with five of these uh, insulation styrofoam sheets in them. And it was like 12 or $13. And I used four sheets and um, you can't see but two sheets are in here in the bottom and they fit here in the lip and then there's two sheets glued together that fit on top 
And the nice thing about the core, core plast is it's got the channels. So I'm able to hang the lights here with um, um, little clips. Same thing with these little guys. So it's easy to take down and store. Turned out really great. And here you can see uh, I cut the front and two side pieces and the front and the side pieces are glued here. I glued the, uh, cut the front piece about an inch or so longer, wider on either side and then glued it together so it'll be easy to um, take apart and store. And then inside this is, um, I have, um, as I uh, indicated earlier in the video, I have some hanging uh, cardboard and core plast pieces that sit on top of the uh, sewing machine and it adds a little bit more stability so that I can actually store things on top of this fireplace. And this here, I think I got this from the dollar store. I don't remember, I've had it a while. This The spider glows in the dark. It is not permanently affixed. I have it sitting on here with uh, a 3M hook. So, you know, I can take that off and if, say, I want, for Christmas I want to do something, I can change the decoration on the front, change this, change the skin on the bottom. Uh, pretty much, uh, Make it to where I can um, decorate for all of the seasons. So this is how the fireplace turned out. And I have to say, I'm very pleased with um, uh, how it looks. So thank you for watching this long video and for going through the process with me. Uh, if you liked this video, then please like it share it, and subscribe. Thank you. This is Eve Hallows, Dead and Breakfast.